The U.S. and China won't be announcing a formal cybersecurity agreement, although they are working on a framework for cooperation. CCTV's Daniel Wrenches tells us more. The White House has been under pressure to address the issue of cybersecurity during the visit of President Xi Jinping to Washington later this week. Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes doesn't expect a formal agreement on cybersecurity. So I wouldn't say that there is some formal agreement that has been reached, no, but I do think that we've had a constructive discussion about what does that framework look like, how can we address these issues, not purely as competitors, but also as two countries that have a stake in a world in which businesses can operate uh, without fear that their secrets are going to be uh, stolen by cyber actors. The New York Times reports the two sides have been working towards an agreement to be announced during President Xi's visit to the White House. The newspaper says this may include an embrace of the UN Code of Conduct, which includes commitments on avoiding cyber attacks on critical public infrastructure like hospitals and power stations. But Ben Rhodes says the emphasis is currently on business issues. What we're most focused on is trade secrets and the ability of businesses to operate without the fear that uh, they're going to be subjected to cyber attacks that steal their intellectual property. China's ambassador to the United States says he hopes the two sides can work more closely to address a range of cyber security issues. I think this is a common interest. So I believe the two countries have to focus on this common need, try to work out a set of rules or a joint approach to deal with this new issue, rather than accusing each other or and uh, having some uh, conflicts or even confrontation in this area, because it will not help us to solve the problem. It will only make things worse for both countries. It's not yet clear whether during President Xi's trip to Washington, the two sides will announce a resumption of the U.S.-China Cybersecurity Working Group following China's decision to suspend the dialogue last year. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.